What's up guys, it's Jay, more than Kill, and I'm back here with some more Borderlands pre-sequel, pre-release coverage. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Wilhelm's final skill tree, the Hunter Killer Tree. Now, originally, I thought we already covered this tree, but then I went back and looked through my playlist when some of you guys were asking me to touch on this playlist, and I realized that we only went over it briefly when they revealed Wilhelm's action skills. So today we're going to go ahead and take a quick stroll through the Hunter Killer Tree. And if you're not aware of what Wilhelm's action skill actually does, he can call in two surveyor drones, Wolf and Saint. Wolf is an offensive surveyor drone designed to seek and destroy the motherfucking enemy. <laughs> Saint is a defensive minded surveyor who has a, a pretty buff shield and he focuses on keeping Wilhelm and his teammates safe. So the Hunter Killer Tree focuses on strengthening and lengthening <laughs> Wolf's power and duration. So the first skill we have is Afterburner. Afterburner increases the speed that Wolf flies through the air as well as increases Wilhelm's reload and projectile speed. So in a lot of the Wilhelm gameplay, they've already shown him using quite a bit of Torg weaponry, which is no surprise since Torg is strong, but has very slow projectile speeds, and this makes it a pretty good skill if you want to stick with the explosions. <laughs> That's a little bit of a Torg reference there for you guys, but you also notice that the skills inside this tree also have like passives and secondary buffs that will help make Wilhelm stronger as well as Wolf. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next skill, which is Fire Support. And this increases damage for both Wilhelm and Wolf. This is, this is a very early game skill, and it looks like it's going to be a must spec in this skill very early in the game, especially, you know, we have evidence on screen that there will be class mods that will boost this skill, and who the hell doesn't want a damage boost that early in the game? So, directly below fire support, we have suppression, which is a great addition right after fire support. So, this skill increases fire rate for both you and Wolf. So, you have not only extra fire rate, but also gun damage and projectile speeds from the first two skills. Who can resist maxing out all three of these skills before you even hit level 20? Because you do get your action skill, I'm pretty sure, at like level 3 inside this game instead of level 5. That way, you know, Borderlands has already been 1 and 2. We already know exactly how to play as these characters. We know what we're doing, so they're giving us our action skill a little bit earlier, which also allows us to spec into two full capstone skill trees before level 50. I think, uh... It's a pretty good compromise. <laughs> so, to the left of Suppression, we have Venom Bolts. I hate the word Venom. I actually... Let me tell you about this. I lost a spelling bee in 6th grade because the goddamn speaker... Yeah, he said, Spell Venom. Bitch, it's Venom! I watched Spider-Man. You know what Venom is? It's like, I don't know what the fuck Venom is. So I spelled it like Vacuum. It, it was completely wrong, because he said Venom wrong. If I ever see that guy again, I'm kicking his motherfucking ass. <laughs> so anyway, specking into Venom Bolts gives Wolf a chance to fire corrosive elemental bolts and also gives you a minor passive ability to boost Wilhelm's corrode damage and chance to corrode with corrosive elemental weaponry. <laughs> so, what we've seen so far, you know, with the damage over time in the pre-sequel actually looking like it's effective in the footage they've released so far, it seems like this is going to be a promising skill with very little downside, but also it has some pretty good upside when we take a look at the rest of the skill tree later on. It's going to, this is going to come back and you're going to be like, God damn, I need to get me some Venom Bolts. <laughs> so, rounding out the top half of the Hunter Killer Tree, we have Laser Guided. This skill allows Wilhelm to select any enemy. And Wolf will attack them. And if you ever played Battlefield, this is pretty much like spot an enemy 
for your teammates if you can't shoot them. You know, you, you see an enemy far off in the distance. Instead of taking a couple pot shots at them, you spot them and let your teammates that are closer take a shot at them. Yes, except this makes a surveyor attack them and enemies that are painted by Wolf take 33% damage from all sources. And killing an enemy that has been painted makes Wolf and Saint last 5 seconds longer. What? <laughs> this actually sounds a lot like Zero's death mark, which, I mean, if you ever played Zero or watched somebody play Zero, the death mark is pretty much a staple of every Zero build that is out there. You pretty much can't have a Zero build without having death mark. And I could see this skill becoming, you know, just as important to Wilhelm's build as death mark was for Zero. Not only that, but, I mean, shit. You can keep Wolf and Zane out five seconds longer just by painting an enemy and killing him. Five seconds is quite a bit of time in uh, Borderlands to have your action skill lengthened. Lengthened. <laughs> so go ahead. We're going to go and move into the first skill of the second half of the uh, Hunter Killer Tree. We come to Rolling Thunder, which uh, first off, that is a reference to the grenade that Wilhelm drops in Borderlands 2, but it's another goddamn stacking skill! Like, seriously! What does every goddamn character in the pre sequel have to have a stacking skill? Fuck! <laughs> seriously, though, no. Rolling Thunder stacks are gained while Wolf is alive. You don't really have to do anything to gain Rolling Thunder stacks. As long as Wolf stays alive, you gain stacks. The more stacks that you get, the more damage that he gains. And it seems like this is going to work pretty well with Laser Guided, you know, since that can extend the period of time that he's out. And if you have a team working together to kill enemies that are painted over and over, it looks like Wolf can stay out for quite a while. Remember, every kill keeps him out for five more seconds. So the longer he stays out, the more damage he gains, the easier he's going to kill. And everybody on your team is working to kill the enemies that are goddamn fucking painted. That's fucking teamwork. <laughs> Those of you guys out there that know what that uh, reference is, the first person to say it in the comments down below, I'll uh, I'll send you a game on Steam. I have a I have a couple games laying around on Steam, uh, and uh, I'll let you pick from them. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> so to the right of that, we have Kill Switch, which is another one of one skill in a tree. And uh, this skill, when, when Wolf runs out of time, or he runs out of health, he kamikazes into enemies and explodes. Does some damage. So, alright. <laughs> so, next up, we got Scrambled, which is an absolutely amazing skill that's going to once again synergize really well with Rolling Thunder and Laser Guided. Remember, Laser Guided allows us to paint enemies, keep Wolf longer out while you kill enemies that are painted. Rolling Thunder, the longer the Wolf's out, the more damage he gains, right? This skill will deploy a brand new Wolf once he's destroyed. And if you max this skill out, you're gonna get 50% extra duration with Wolf because once he blows up, you get another Wolf. And he's going to have half the time of your normal cooldown to go flying around, doing what Wolf does, stacking up some rolling thunder, and painting some enemies red. <laughs> so, underneath that, we have Escalation. And specking into Escalation gives you bonus critical hit damage. And scoring critical hits will reduce Wilhelm's action skill by a small amount. So, pretty much maxed out you can only reduce his cooldown by two seconds every 15 seconds now this doesn't seem like a very good skill off the bat to be you know this deep in the tree but if you're this deep in the tree you're heavily invested in keeping wolf and saint active so you know having a cooldown reduction will become pretty important Especially since there's so many skills in this tree that are meant to keep Wolf and Saint active longer and longer. If you keep reducing the cooldown while they're still active by scoring critical hits, you might be able to have Wolf and Saint out as long as you like. Sort of like how, you know, Sal 
can cool down his Gunzerker while he's still fucking Gunzerking. And if this works like that, I can see, I can see the Hunter Killer Tree becoming a uh, quite OP. And that's something we said a lot about these characters. Every time we look at a skill tree, we're like, that's OP. But I think, I think that 2K is doing a really good job at making sure that these characters stay, they feel like fucking badasses. You know, that's a, something that we lost in Borderlands 2 the more they added with the level caps and the OP levels. I mean, in Borderlands, you're supposed to be feeling more badass as you grow, but the, the more levels you gained and the more powerful weaponry and the more powerful bosses you went to fight in Borderlands 2, the weaker you actually felt, especially once you got into OP levels. So I like the fact that they seem to be, you know, kind of stepping back and maybe, you know, centering this right between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. Not just, you know, story-wise or, you know, continuity-wise, but also, you know, gameplay, mechanics, and level design and scaling. And I, I really do enjoy that. So the final skill, though, before we get into his capstone, is Cold War. And once again, just pure synergy inside this. This skill will increase your chance of freeze an enemy and a chance to freeze an enemy when applying any other damage over time to an enemy. Now, since we've seen freeze damage not only becoming like the spotlight of the elements, but it's also a damage modifying element, sort of like slag. So this makes sense to keep a corrosive weapon on hand to synergize this with Venom Bolts. Remember, I told you Venom was coming back. <laughs> yes. So this will not only, you know, increase the chance of applying a corrode dot to the enemy when you're using Venom Bolts, but specking into Cold War will also give you a chance to freeze them when you corrode them because you're applying a damage over time and Cold War has a chance to freeze an enemy when you apply any other damage over time to him. And I think that's going to be a pretty sweet one-two punch. And also maybe given a little bit more, how do you say the word, usefulness to corrosive weaponry. Like in Borderlands 2, corrosive weaponry was really only good for fighting robots. And that was only specific portions of the uh, game. So I think the way that they're kind of laying this out is to make, you know, corrosive once again to be an element that you're happy to see on your gun instead of just being like oh I can only use this like on like seriously one third of the game it's like come out especially how badass corrosive was in Borderlands 1 Borderlands 1 corrosive was the damage uh, modifier sort of like slag it worked just a little bit differently but it still was effective against enemies that weren't weak to corrosive it it just I mean, seriously, Borderlands 2, if I shoot Corrosive at you, it's not going to do 10% less damage. No, acid fucking hurts flesh. I don't know why it was a damage reduction in Borderlands 2, but I guess they're trying to make it to where, you know, you kind of actually use the elements instead of just like, you know, plowing through the game with whatever the fuck you find. <laughs> so, last but not least, we come to Wilhelm's Capstone. It's an Omega Strike. What is an Omega Strike? Well, this makes Wolf periodically launch a deadly missile strike against its targets. Nothing else more is said. <laughs> so, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this has the same nuke animation, you know, as Axton's turrets, or, you know, badass as Taurus Rex's missile, or the constructors that launch that giant fucking missile up in the air, and you kind of see it coming towards you, and you're trying to snipe it out of the air, and then you're just sitting there watching it come and come and come, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, let's face it, nukes are fucking awesome. Everybody wants a little bit of nukes, and I think, I think that would be pretty awesome to see, like, you know, not just, not just one nuke, but this says, like, it's like a missile strike. I'm hoping it's, like, a barrage of, like, three to four missiles that just psh, nukes all over the place. Everywhere. <laughs> nukes for everybody! So, that's the end of Wilhelm's 
hunter killer skill tree. I know this took a little bit faster to do than most of the other trees, but I mean, we've already gone over some of these skills, so I didn't want to sit here and elaborate on the first half of the tree since, like I said, we've already taken a look at that. But, you know, some of the other synergizing skills like Venom Bolts and Cold War, and then we also have Laser Guided and Rolling Thunder working pretty well with uh, Escalation. And, and, and Scrambled? And Scrambled? It's a, it's a fucking... It's a madhouse. <laughs> it's, a, it's a better madhouse than a madhouse in Borderlands 2. That's for goddamn sure. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, really comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So, uh, that's, that's the end of all the skill trees in Borderlands pre-sequel. I can't fucking wait. For this game to come out but at least at least we have destiny to hold us over until then and that comes out in like 10 fucking days 10 days it's like the fucking ring seven days <laughs> you ever see you ever see scary movie three years seven days and he goes who's gay seven days Willie Mays <laughs> fucking, oh god I love scary movies so like I said that's Hunter Killer Tree for Wilhelm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I do always respond to as many questions as I can. And if you just, if you leave a question down there, make sure it pertains to the video. Don't just like ask me, but like, hey Mac, what kind of socks are you wearing today? Cause it's, it's nine in the morning when I'm recording this, so. I'm actually wearing dirty socks. <laughs> so I've had a chance. To do some laundry, get in a shower, and uh, I just picked up whatever socks were on the fucking floor when I woke up. Right. So, uh, yeah, my name's Jay, more than Afterkill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Venom. Spell Venom. I want you to spell my foot up your goddamn ass, motherfucker.